one knows to about, know about this. No one knows about it. These two bills, both in the Senate and the House, the kissing cousin, that's what they say, the kissing cousin bills that are alike are being pushed through so fast that no one's even reading them. I think I, I think there are only a couple people that have read the whole bills. I've read all the old bills, but now I'm reading the new bills, and I can't believe what I'm seeing. So the Republicans in the Senate, and, and this is what they're saying, okay, this is a, it's techniques to shut down parents and citizens, okay? So they're saying, we're going to debate this. We're gonna have these teachers in because they were complaining about the test. So they're only talking about 14 pages, okay? But it's totally without debate of any other part of that bill. They're not talking about at-risk children. They're not talking about how they're gonna remediate the kids. They're not talking about the database. They're not talking about the privacy that's built in there that says that bill that Obama expanded with an executive order, they're gonna to try to make it law. They'll try to make it law in that bill so that they can do it legally because right now it's not legal, okay? This is totally a smoke screen, okay? Total smoke screen. And there have been objections. Okay, the Democrats came out uh, a couple days ago with the House, the House Democrats. They said, oh, we object to what you're doing. We're not going to allow that money to follow the child. You know, we're just not, we, we just, we know we're not going to agree to that, okay? That's the Democrats. Okay, on the, on the Republican side, they're saying, oh, we want the money to follow the child, and we want choice, and we want all of this to happen with charter schools, okay? What do you think the compromise is gonna be? The compromise is gonna be that they're, they're going to join hands. It's the sister, that's the kissing cousins, okay? It's more like identical twins, it's not kissing cousins. It's identical twins that they're gonna pass. They're gonna pass everything that both of them want the Republicans, the Democrats, and Obama to restructure this country. And it's it's gonna start when these bills pass, absolutely. Who, you're not saying anything. <laughs> no, I'm just, uh, I'm just savoring everything that you're, that you're, you're putting into my head and our head. Well, look, let me ask you something. You say this has been going on now, what they've been, they've been moving, they, whoever they are, and we'll get to that in a second, they've been pushing for this for approximately how many decades? Would you say since the 60s or 80s or when? Well, Charlotte has papers where it's really started a long, longer than that. Really? But the implementation of where it was legislated was 1965 under the Johnson administration. Okay. All right. And this good. is where Title I. So the two big main things, and this is really interesting too, anyone could go back and Google Romney's education plan. Yes. Okay, if you Google Romney's education plan, do you know what it says he wanted to do? No. Title I and IDEA, the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act to remediate all the at-risk kids. At so, risk of what? At risk of not meeting those common core outcomes. To he be qualified for jobs that don't exist, Obama, I suppose. In other words, Sorry? He had the exact same a, a, a agenda. So what I'm telling you is that the Republicans and Democrats that are in power and Obama want the same thing. Lamar Alexander is, is, he is the leader, the serpent that's pushing this through. He was the one that created the database, okay? He is the one that, that is implementing this entire agenda. And then you have the house that's following right along like little puppy dogs, okay? And they're not allowing anyone to testify about anything in this bill. So let me tell you what happened to me yesterday. Please. Okay, so here's Pennsylvania, a model for the unique national ID for the entire whole country. Uh, our grant says it's a womb to workplace starting at birth, starting with babies, we got to monitor if those babies cry, if those babies have um, separation disorder, if those babies hit another baby, if that baby bites someone, oh boy, look out, okay. Those if a babies baby have bites mental bites health. somebody? Yeah, that's a mental health disorder. Oh, we have, Lord we have, have to do something to that baby. So, you know, so all of these check marks that they're doing, if uh, kids in the fourth grade, okay, sitting in a seat, if they look out the window more than three seconds, check mark. 
If they turn around in their seat, check mark. If they uh, talk out of turn, check mark. They can't, these kids are in prison. They can't do anything. It's reward and punishment. Total BF Skinner, okay? So they're monitoring these kids' behavior. Okay, so we put together this whole agenda. We were, this is interesting. They really didn't want us to testify, but we're the only group out there that's organized. So the Pennsylvania uh, Education Committee had hearings yesterday. You know, and they had the Department of Ed, the Pennsylvania State Education uh, people from like the NEA, but it's from Pennsylvania. They had all these contractors. All of these people are paid to be there. Yes. So we had three parents. We had a gal named Cheryl, and she's a parent that actually filed a federal, not a federal complaint. It was a, a I think it was in federal court though, federal court uh, against the University of Pittsburgh and Western Psych who came into their school to do a model program for these check marks, okay, that I'm telling you about. They were a model uh, some years ago. And, um, and then another liaison parent who lives near Harrisburg, because Harrisburg is our capital. So we get to testify because we're the only organized group. But they slipped me in, okay, to, to testify also, which of course was a mistake for their, their part. But anyway, they kept <laughs> contacting our liaison of what we were gonna say, and we wouldn't give them our speeches. We weren't gonna give them anything. However, we sit down to speak, which the Department of Education was about 45 minutes over their time, and they're pressuring us to hurry up and finish, okay? So Cheryl begins speaking. The chairman of the House Education Committee starts screaming at her, calls her by her first name, screaming at her that she wasn't prepared, she wasn't talking about the bills that were being brought forward, totally screaming at her, probably for five minutes. And when she objected and said, this is my testimony, he kept screaming at her. This is a technique that's used constantly. It's called Delphi. To oh, try what? Delphi technique. Uh. To try to shut you up, okay? You are taken so off guard from being screamed at in public. This was done to Romney, actually. Remember that last debate where uh, Obama attacks him? And he backed down. Okay, the key is not to back down. Okay? Oh, absolutely. That, that, you that, don't that, back I suppose down. that would label me as a confrontational person, yeah, which of course I am. You would be, you know, you, you'll be remediated. <laughs> yeah, good luck but with anyway. that. But anyway, okay, so this went on like, I don't know, and then he kept interrupting her, okay? And she continued, but you could tell she, I mean, she was, she was physically shaken. There is no doubt about it. But, okay, so I was next, and the, uh, the Department of Education and the State Board, when they testified, they started talking about a little history about the old test. And I thought, that's great. I'm gonna tell them about my history. Okay, I wasn't going to in the beginning. So I started out telling them, well, it was very kind of the State Board to talk about the quality goals of education in Pennsylvania and the past EQA, because I was the parent who filed the federal complaint that made them withdraw the test because they were violating federal law. <laughs> so I blasted them from the very beginning. Excellent. And then I told them that everything that they had brought forward, oh, we want local control. And they did this house resolution. <laughs> we want local control. We want the kids to have privacy. We don't want to control the teachers. We don't want a model curriculum. So then I said, everything that you have said this morning, I can tell you they are violating every single one of those. And let me tell you how. So then I went on to tell them about the contracts. I told them uh, how we were a model for the nation. But you know what we did? To kind of sidestep them, because uh, we knew they were gonna cut us off. We had someone in the audience passing out all the documentation, okay? And we then slipped packets to every representative telling them, showing them the contracts. And do you know that one of the representatives had the nerve to say, we really don't know, we've never seen those contracts. We don't, we, we don't even know anything about this, honestly. And my last statement to them, I just said, you know, when 
parents really find out, and I'm going to say this across the nation, when parents and citizens really find out what the government is doing, all hell is going to break loose. Sooner than later, my dear. Yes. Oh, seriously, sooner than later. I mean, yes. ah, this just makes my blood boil. But what I want to know is, and I know you got to go, and, and but look, who is doing this? If it's go, if it goes all the way back to '65 under Johnson, and if today we find the Republicans and the Democrats are not only kissing cousins but actually sleeping together, cousins, uh, who's running them? How is it possible for this to be orchestrated going back 50 years without anybody getting wise to it? Well, a lot of it was very deceptive. Um, so in 1965, when this whole thing had begun, and they started out with a national assessment, yeah. okay? So they created this whole entire agenda to move forward under the Elementary and Secondary Education Act, and they set up the NAEP. Okay, the key people in the government at the time were Carnegie people, Carnegie Foundation people. The Carnegie Foundation people came to Pennsylvania to set up the national test. That was the test I filed federal complaint. So what you have is the Carnegie Foundation and top businesses. And, I, and I'm not saying, you know, the top business in Pittsburgh. I'm saying the top international businesses of the world are creating this system for the docile worker. They don't like the United States and all of these people who have all these rights. And we can say no. Oh, wait a minute. And we who, can have who doesn't like the United States? Who is it that doesn't like it? Oh, all these big corporations. Okay. Uh, it was interesting because Gates put out this really interesting little article just about a month ago. And he said, again. oh, gee, we have to give all these computers even to the to the child in the jungle. Okay. Sure. And but it, this is a quote from Charlotte Iserby. Okay. She always says, every heartbeat in the world has to be monitored. <laughs> okay. Every heartbeat. Even the child sitting with a green screen in the middle of the desert or whatever in Africa will have to be monitored by the global workforce, the global, the globalists of tomorrow. So this is where we are. And I'm telling you, we are so close right now to losing it. The, these bills, the ESA reauthorization, Lamar Alexander of Tennessee, uh, Representative Klein, they are bringing forward this bill with no citizen input, no parental input, not discussing the issues. And they are going to push this thing through to nationalize education, just like they did Obamacare. But it's the Republicans doing it this time with Obama's stamp of approval. They're going to push this thing through. And we better, we better get up and start screaming you know so uh, i'll tell you what happened to us yesterday is just the tip of the iceberg but a lot of our people were really upset about the rudeness of how this guy attacked uh this poor woman that was testifying beside me okay but what we have to remember is we have to move forward we, we the best thing that happened we still got information out we still had people contacting us saying I can't believe that that guy did that. And boy, did you get out information that we had never heard before. So this is what's important. We are going to be attacked. We are going to be horse whipped. Okay. We have to move forward and say, look, guys, this is this is the line. This is the line that we have to step over right now. Because if we're not fighting for our country right now with this education bill, I don't know when we will ever have the chance to do it again. This is our second revolution. You know, I really have to be careful w what I say. I mean, not really, because it's not going out over the public airwaves, except in very, very limited 